Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy and today we got this Chronicle theme festival event that I wanted to show you. Uh, I built this specific Blackwing deck. This uh, Basically, we are playing a lot of Blackwing synchros. Uh, we are locked in almost only pure Blackwings. For some reason, we can still play uh, different kind of Link monsters and uh, Xyz, but not every single one of them. So... I don't really understand exactly like how this works, but basically uh, we are locked in only black wings somehow, but not really. Uh, but anyhow, I was still able to uh, summon the indestructible full arm master, even though we cannot play with Dang Long because he's not a black wing, but somehow Avermax is. Uh, okay. Um. <laughs> Whatever, okay, um, I'm going to show you now a couple of boards, a couple of boards that you can do with this deck. Um, first of all, I'm going to show you a way how to uh, play without the indestructible armor master, like, because you're not going to be able to summon him all the time. Um, okay, so check this out. We're going second over here. Uh, with small world, guys, I'm using Aurora. As a small world bridge and i'm also using the dark arm dragon as a small world bridge and in this in this deck it's actually it's actually really fun okay it's actually fun and really consistent i'll talk about it more in a minute when i show you the deck list so now we are able to search for, for simon basically with small world we can search for every card okay every card uh yeah Unfortunately, in this run, we, were, we weren't able to go for the indestructible arm master, but it doesn't matter because this board is also insane, okay? You got so many options, like, literally, you got so many options with this deck. All right, we're gonna get imped over here. If that happens, we don't really care. And then uh, we're gonna search for Rashi. Won't be able to smash some of Auster. Boom, boom, boom. Now we can go like this. Or Joe, if you wanted to, like we can do so many things. Um, now we can special summon with him actually a uh, level five or higher black remotes from our graveyard, which is going to be really good, uh, which is going to be really handy for us next turn. And then now we got the full arm mass over here, and now we can actually like also defect in the graveyard to set counters on our opponent's monsters, to take control over it, or just to destroy it in the end phase. I decided to go also for Y Strix. Uh, y Strix, we usually want to special summon Zephyros because we can special summon him again from the graveyard by bouncing back the Black Feather Wild, uh, Black Wild, sorry. <laughs> and then we, what we could also do is like with this, boom, take over him, destroy stuff, and then use those two to go for IP. Unfortunately, we cannot go for Avermax like this turn because uh, we are locked and only docked. But like if we end our turn like this, in the main phase we can basically activate Mascarina's effect to go into Avermax, uh, just like that. If you wanted to. And the cool thing is, guys, even though we don't have the indestructible armor out right now, he he is he's like semi indestructible because thanks to the Avermax, um, they can only attack the Avermax right because of his effect. So no one can attack those monsters. At the same time, if like someone wants to uh, destroy or attack the Joe over here, we can activate his effect and target the full arm master. And the full arm master cannot be just like is unaffected by card effects, but you can still like change the target from Obsidian Joe to full arm master. So yeah, that's this like a safe if they want to target Joe or Raki like at Joe for attack or for destruction whatever uh so this board over here is also like pretty pretty good uh Avermax being a big tower summoned with uh ip mask arena cannot also not be destroyed by be uh, uh, card effects so this is huge and by battle he won't also be destroyed because because of his awesome attack to boost boost his attack and people cannot target him so this is this is actually pretty awesome now let me show you another uh, way how to play this deck so if you're curious about what is the indestructible arm mass because you're new on this channel 
now i'm going to show you though as you can see guys we currently got the beyond on our hand and uh, we still need either if we have like right now a uh, gust on our hand like we could actually do this we can act act with a small world um banish Auster, okay or it's that we could banish Auster if you wanted to and then uh banish aurora or also uh not not aurora but we could also banish the um dark arm dragon and then get gust to our hand and special summoning gust special summon Orashi, special summon bora normal summon beyond will ultimately also give us the indestructible armor master but in this case i decided to go for simun for some reason uh this is even deadly because usually i mean currently we have the Orashi in our hand but if we would get ashed on this one then we will be screwed but yeah this is like another way how you can go indestructible armors and what that means is if we using the b on as a material to summon the full arm master he not he cannot be destroyed by the maxi he just activated maxi uh, he cannot be he cannot be destroyed by battle anymore okay so unaffected by cut effects cannot be destroyed by battle what the what does the opponent has to do this here boom you guys see that kaiju over here you guys see that kaiju over here this one yeah, this is the only out against the full arm master. <laughs> if your opponent doesn't have any kaijus, they basically lose. You need to treat with him. Okay, you cannot destroy him by effect or whatsoever. Okay. Uh, or goddess, something like that. Uh, yeah. Um, this is basically it, guys. Let me show you the deck list now. Alright, so here we are, guys. Uh, we are playing free be on in this tag because like i said we cannot search uh, we cannot uh summon dang long in this festival unfortunately or the yazi so we just have to hard draw the beyonds gust like it's it's pretty consistent okay trust me you're gonna summon an indestructible armor a lot of times but like i said you you can <coughs> shoot you can summon indestructible arm master by just special summoning gus special summon doesn't matter hamilton or bora or roshi gale normal summon beyond go straight into indestructible arm master or like uh, simoon search for roshi normal summon beyond you can search for every single card over here with basically small world or maybe like prosperity you can easily banish up to uh, six cards to get one of those cards like for, to search one of one of six cards um also have like a lure of the darkness you can also try ring with quite if you want to and then to break boards we got harpy feather dusters lightning storm three imps always good to have and yeah the dark arm guys beautiful small world bitch the only thing that we cannot that we would brick with if we had zephyrus on our hands Okay, if you would have Zephyrus on your hand, then you cannot uh, go for Dark Armed and then get someone because they share the Dark Type, sorry, the Dark Attribute, and also 1000 Defense Points. Okay, so only those two do not match, but besides him, like every other matches with Dark Armed. And if you want to search for Beyond, then you also got the Aurora, so it's always good to have like two small world targets. And yeah, the aura is perfect. Like he's the ultimate perfectly great small world bridge because he's the only black wing that's, that's a light attribute. Wing beast, unlimited st uh, level stars, uh, zero death, unlimited attack points, question mark. So beautiful small world card. And yeah, for the extra cards, we got Nofung over here. We got Joe, right? Kiwi, Shidori. The hot red dragon arch finds uh beard says also good a good tower two times full armor master uh one onimaru one time tv doer uh yeah we also got like the zeus if you need it then y strix ip unicorn mac knight crusader like all of those stuff uh you can actually cut the Onimaru guys, like, you're not going to summon him that much. He's okay, but not that good. 
So you could actually cut him and get like a third. Oh no. Get a third full arm master if you wanted to. Or anything else like a, oh no. Armor master. Full arm master. Doesn't matter. Whatever you guys like to play. Because usually like Avermax or full arm master wins. <laughs> okay. So. I mean, indestructible for our master. So, yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little deck profile for the Chronicles. It's, it's, it's really fun, okay? Especially playing with Dark Arm Dragon. It's really, really fun. Really fun. Alright, so uh, give it a try, guys. As long as your opponent doesn't play Kaijus, you're winning. You are winning. Trust me. Here. Let's do some hand testing. Beautiful. Beautiful hand. Beautiful. Look at this. Look at this, man. Look at this beautiful this is this is a hand that you would like to have you beautiful small world is going to search for us oh man oh man yeah okay here we can search for uh uh for all mass uh, sorry for uh, search for simon and then yeah okay this could suck like this is not a good hand but this is great hands. Now we can see we already got beyond, so it's pretty consistent to summon beyond. And then see here, this is what I mean. Like special summon Gus, special summon or just normal summon beyond, special summon uh, Chris, and you got straight full indestructible armor so without doing a fifth summoning. Yeah, yeah. this is crazy, guys. This is really crazy. Yeah. Like there's always some ways. Okay, you're not really going to break ever. Yeah, even this great with small world and still do some stuff. All right, guys. Um, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video. It's pretty awesome, man. By the way, check out this prismatic simoon that I got. Isn't he awesome? I know he is. I know he is. Really proud of him. Still looking for the full arm master to be prismatic to make him indestructible, right? Just matches perfectly. Guys, thanks for watching. Love you all. Please take care of yourself, and I'll see you guys. Don't forget to like.